People say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. Down below is 100 acre wood set in the lush countryside of the Ashdown Forest. And today is the perfect day to pay our respects to Winnie the Pooh. One of the benefits of having a van is you can use it for day trips. So we're just out for the day today, spurred on by the beautiful weather. This is one of the car parks you can use if you want to follow the AA Mill Winnie the Pooh Trail. Pooh Bridge, here we come. Okay, let's go. Stay on the footpath, observe the country code. Nice day for it. It's a chill wind, but nice blue <laughs> sky. Did you ever read Winnie the Pooh? Of course I did. Did you? Yeah. Sorry, but I didn't read Winnie the Pooh. But I have researched Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Just for this walk? Yeah. Well, if you're going to talk about something, you've got to know what you're talking about. Oh, are you supposed to walk over those? Oh. Go on then, bunny. No way! <laughs> no. I suppose for kids. Oh, they're but really worn down, aren't they? It's a bit uneven, though. Yeah. I don't remember that in the books. No! Is that Piglet's house? That's someone's house. What's it saying? Let's see. Is it Piglet's house? It's high up the tree. It wouldn't be. It would be more for Owl. Owl's house was a fine house for an owl with an enormous door and a knocker you could knock on from the ground. There's a secret entrance as well at the back. Did you see it? What? I think that must be Piglet's oh, house through there. There's a honey pot. I can see a pot of honey. Let's go and have a look. Oh, look. <laughs> honey. What's that up there? Is that I don't about know. The balcony. You had a fine view of the forest. Piglet's house is a humble abode that is often threatened by strong winds and other elements. Some of the main events that happen there include Pooh and Piglet getting trapped in a flood and <laughs> Piglet bravely rescuing his friends from a scary situation. Mm. The inside of Piglet's house was just as cosy and inviting as the outside. It doesn't look very inviting outside to me. But inside there was a cosy fire and a lovely big armchair which was just perfect for Piglet, who was a timid and sensitive creature. I think in the book it said it had a thatched roof, but this one's in a tree. What we got to find now? The bridge next, and then Winnie the Pooh's house. Okie dokie. That's the problem. I need a stick or a hand. I can get across. That's <laughs> Help the old man. You having fun? You can't beat it when the weather's like this, can you? Beautiful, yeah, just right. Not too hot. Hello, dog. Morning. Not as many bluebells here as I thought there would be. Do you remember what the books were then? The first one was Winnie the Pooh in 1926. Right. And then The House at Pooh Corner in 1928. And two other books were When We Were Very Young and Now We Are Six. Mm. More bluebells oh. here. Yeah. That's better. And here we are at the bridge. So how do we pay poo sticks, Charlie Brown? You each have a stick. Yeah. You drop it from the bridge upstream. Upstream, which is this way. And whoever's stick... <clears throat> comes out the other side of the bridge first is the winner. So we got some sticks. Let's give it a go. I present One you with each. your stick. One, two, three, drop. And... Oh, no. They hope we don't get stuck on the bridge. If the one on the right comes out first, it's mine. God oh, blimey, it takes a long time, doesn't it? Well, then Michael's stuck on something under Oh, the it hasn't, is it? I Neither don't... of them have come out. Where are they? Yeah, they're sinking, that's no, why. That one, that one looked like it was coming. They've both sunk to the bottom, so right, we need so something we need that dry. floats, Bunny. 
dead ones. This is harder than I thought. Yeah, okay. That's So as you can see, this area is absolutely stripped of sticks. Right, so sticks didn't work. So I'm gonna try leaves next, do a test, drop one in and see if it works. That works. So my leaf should be coming out. Or did that sink as well? Blimey, this game is really, oh, there's my leaf. So leaves work. Right, we'll try these leaves and then we'll try your sticks. But it wasn't called poo leaves. I know, I know it's not called poo leaves, but you have to adapt. One, two, three. Ooh. Mine was the brighter one, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, it's yours. There's mine. I know, is that mine or yours? I think that's yours. Oh, was it? Yeah, that's that was yours. yours. Then. Why There's I... mine, just the brighter Where? one. Oh, there? Yeah. Well, we'll try two similar sized ones. Yeah, I don't want no cheating. Choose your stick. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm competitive. It's a bit cheating, but I don't want my glasses to fall in, really. One, two, three, drop. Yay! Oh! There's the other one. We seem to it's get one. It's widely different. Oh, there's oh, mine. There's it's just come yeah. through now. Yeah. Widely differing performance, yes. isn't there? So dead sticks work. Oh, I bet there's some arguing here with some children yeah. when they come down here to play. It's all very waterlogged here. Lovely carpet of little yellow flowers though. Let's come over here and sit on the log. Don't fall into the water. Oh my God. What a tranquil spot. So what do we know about A.A. Milne then, Bunny? Alan Alexander Milne, mm -hmm. born in 1882. Right. He was born in London and went to Cambridge University. He was fam became famous as a playwright writing plays for London's West End. Oh, right, yeah. And he only started writing children's books after the birth of his son. Christopher Robin Milne, mm. who was the inspiration for Christopher Robin in the Winnie the Pooh books. Mm. He did resent his uh, fame as a children's writer. Why? Because everybody was just interested was, in his yeah. children's books. Yeah. So that's why he didn't write many. And, but he did go on and wrote um, essays and plays throughout his career. Good for him. When was the last time we were here then? Years and years ago, I just think, wasn't it? Well, yeah. Have you been here before? Have yeah. I, have we been here before? I've Def, we, we've both been here and I we've know, been I've, here together. And I've been here geocaching since then with my sister. Mm. Okay, where are we going next? Back up there and into some other side. No, we carry on up this path. Okay. There's another house to visit. Another house. Let's get going, Charlie. Look at all those lovely bluebells. Oh, oh I can smell oh, them. Yeah, lovely. you can really, really smell them now, can't you? And there we go. Never thought we were going to see Winnie the Pooh's house today. I would have thought someone would have pinched it by now. It just goes to show Winnie the Pooh followers are really nice people. It's a cosy little home where Pooh lives and he spends his time eating honey, napping and having conversations with his friends. Right, I think we've had enough now. <laughs> For now, anyway. <laughs> Well, my belly's rumbling about yeah. yours. Yeah, so it's Time we get back, go back to the van, we'll have our lunch. lunch. All that talk of honey is making us Yeah, hungry. all that talk of honey. Oh, my Lord. That's quite an uphill stretch. Yeah. Nice and easy on the way down, wasn't it? I didn't even notice the hill. <laughs> I did. I was thinking about thinking we had to come back up this. So we're trying something new for lunch, aren't we? Yes. We won't let on in case it's an absolute disaster. So yes. if they don't see it in the video. We'll give it a go, see what you think. <laughs> it's a coppice. This is where they cut the trees down so that they sprout new stems. And it's good for wildlife. 
and the stems are used in all sorts of woodland crafts. Charlie Brown's found the sun. Okay, you're going to make lunch. So we start with an empty pan. It's going to be like a little pizza, like a calzone, just made with wraps. We've been doing these at home, haven't we? Yes, they've been absolutely they're delicious. delicious. They go nice and crispy. But they really work well with a grill, so it's that'll do. quite good because it's go up at the edges, it'll hold the filling in. Yeah, so we don't want too much of this, otherwise it'll all go soggy, won't it? Yeah. Just want a little taste. So what is that? It's just passata. Then a little bit of salt and pepper. Just get some chicken. They pump their chicken full of water these days, don't they? Mm. Should be a blooming law against that. Just dump them in the middle, then I'll spread them around. Spread them around yeah. So these are jalapenos and pineapple. Yeah. Very spicy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just love the taste of the juice they're in. Show us the jar, what they are. That's what they are. Some barbecue sauce. Whoops, that was a lot, wasn't it? This will be the glue. Hopefully, it will stick the two halves together. But it might fail. We don't know, do we, Bunny? Nope. All we need is one more. Finish it off. Mm -mm. Press it down. I have serious concerns that this won't work, but we can only but try, can't we? So, Charlie Brown, have you given the thought to how we're going to get this out? Well, we need to flip it to cook the other side. Using our plates. So we're going to get one plate, put it on top yeah. of the pan, turn it over yeah. to get it to come out onto the plate. Yeah, right. and then we'll just... Pick it up from here <laughs> when it and eat on it. The floor. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Are you going to do the flip then? All right. This is the most dangerous part. No, it's still wasn't burnt or no, anything. No, it's nice, nicely brown. So now I could just slide it in here, can I? Just back on there, Charlie Brown. Are you enjoying your day out, Charlie Brown? Yeah, it's very peaceful and relaxing. It's lovely to get out of the house, isn't it? Yeah, I'm surprised there's not more people here. There's only about three other cars here now. Right, so I've turned the gas off now. It's been bubbling away and we're just going to leave it in the pan to cool down a little bit before we try and cut it. Hello, beautiful. Okie dokie, there's the finished product. So that worked better than we thought, didn't it? Yeah, oh, it's nice and crispy around the edges. That was easy to do. It's going to squeeze out at the sides. So we might, I reckon we should let it cool down a bit and then it will solidify, won't it? We decided to eat it with a knife and fork because it's going to be easier, isn't it, Bunny? Oh, it might not look very pretty. I'm sure it tastes delicious. It's hot, isn't it? Mm. It's quite pizza. spicy, isn't it? It's yummy. Yeah. Are you still going? Mm. I've scoffed mine. Yeah, you eat too delish. I do eat too quickly. It's a throwback from when I was in the police. You never knew when you were going to get a call. So we all used to scoff our food, I'm afraid. I can't really see, so you have to go, yeah, okay. The condition of English roads now is a national embarrassment, isn't it? It is. There were some potholes oh, just so back there that really would have, could break an axle, let alone damage a wheel. Ice cream fanny, a bunny. 
that I'm not sure you'd be interested in that. What's that? Are we going in the shade? Yeah. Where are we okay, going then? Let's go, let's go through here. Through the woods? Uh, yeah. Lead the way, Macduff. We'll go to try the enchanted place first. These are all very pretty trees, aren't they? Yes. Wow. That's the view. We're looking north towards the North Downs. Oh, right. And we've got Eden Bridge and Tunbridge. It's very hazy, isn't it? Yeah. Can't see it very well today. Yeah, the view's always better after it's rained and taken all the dust out of the yeah. air, isn't it? Yeah. Poor old chutney. It's all right when the wind dies down and you're in the sun, it's nice and warm. Let's follow the path. Follow your nose. Uh, I love these old seats they've got here. Yeah. There's no better place to sit and admire the view. This is the enchanted place where Pooh and his friends would come to make wishes. <laughs> so how long ago was A.A. Milne alive? He was born in 1882, did I say? These are not the original trees, are they? Or do you think? Maybe they are. Me. It's a clearing anyway. Uh, so well, maybe it was a bit clearer. If ever there's a tomorrow when we're not together, there's something you must always remember. You're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. But the most important thing is even if we're apart, I'll always be with you. From the house at Pooh Corner. Christopher Robin says that if you make a wish on the first snowflake that falls in this place, it will come true. Got a trick point here. It's an old gnarly tree, isn't it? This one? Yeah. Mm. All the roots just hanging out in thin air. Yeah, it's been washed away by all the rain. Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. I wonder how much longer it can last before it topples. Yeah. This is Rue's sandpit where he got stuck while playing with his mother Kanga. And he shouted out, help, I'm stuck. And his friends, Pooh and Piglet, had to come and pull him out with a rope. So this place used to be a quarry. And I suppose back then there were, it was very sandy here. This is the place we've been looking for. What does it say? And by and by they came to an enchanted place on the very top of the forest called Galleon's Lap. Mmm, Galleon's Lap. It's interesting, I've seen people call it Galleon's Leap. And it's now called Gill's Lap. A.A. Milne, 1882 to 1956. Not a bad place to have your memorial, is it? No, oh, beautiful aspect. It's getting blowy now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Wish I brought my jumper now. So this is Galleon's Lap. What yeah. do we know about Galleon's Lap, Bunny? Well, A.A. Mill named it Galleon's Lap after a galleon-shaped cloud he saw in the sky when he visited here. Blimey. And in the books, it's the place where Pooh and Piglet discover the North Pole. Oh, yeah. After they get uh, lost following a signpost from Galleon's Hill. We've made it to the North Pole. I thought it would look like this. Yeah. Easier than I thought. <laughs> Warmer than I thought. Yeah. Right, what's next on the agenda, Bunny? We're going to the Heffalump Trap. It's a fictitious beast. Very clever, very quick and very sly. I'm bloody surprised the Heffalump could get up here. It's so blooming steep. Here we are. So this is it. So Pooh and Piglet dug a hole here, right. covered it in branches, and then they sat up all night waiting to catch a heffalump. What happened? None came. They made a silly mistake. 
they were sitting upwind and the heffalump sniffed them. Must be pretty big, those heffalumps. Yeah. Got a house down there that's got a good view. Don't expect they could get out if they fell in here. No, I don't think so. Let's see if you can get out. <laughs> well, get out the easy way. Come on then. I'm rumbly in my tumbly. Time for something sweet. We haven't got anything sweet, have we? Wish we had some honey. Should have brought some, shouldn't we? What were we thinking? Here's our seat. This, folks, is the best seat in Ashdown Forest. Let's plonk it down and chillax. That's a nice view. So good to get out, isn't it? Lovely, yeah. We've been trapped at home for months, haven't we? Since 1st of December. First of December. The last night we spent in the van. Yeah. Just been out for a few day trips. Been having a lot of work done, haven't we? Mm. Had a new floor laid in the hallway because mm. that old one was all broken. Mm -hmm. Kitchen decorated. Kitchen's been repainted and we've had splashbacks put up. Yep. Around the walls. So I don't know when you'll be seeing this, but it'll be after we've been to the Isle of Wight, I would imagine. Who knows? We're not the most up-to-date channel. Well, we couldn't find the bee tree where Pooh and his friends try to steal honey from a bee no. tree. They dress up as a rain cloud, do you remember? <laughs> and use an umbrella to reach the honey. We should try that. <sighs> but the bees discover them and chase them away. I remember that. Right, we're back at the van and the ice cream man's still here. What you got, Charlie? Rip off ice cream. Some rip off ice cream. How much do they knock us back for this then? What do you reckon? Small, Small waffle cone with a flake. Uh, five pound each? Four pound each. Four pound each. Tastes nice though. Yeah. Nice and creamy. Mm. Maybe I should have gone for Ordinary cones, maybe they're cheaper. Oh. At least I like these cones. Yeah, it's all right. Summer's coming and it's going to be hot, hot, hot. If you want to see how to keep cool in a camper van, make sure you watch this video next.